most of the power lines were strengthened. When you flew down the river or up the river, you probably saw poles, but poles were a bit thick at the bottom. They were encased with concrete and sent to make it strong, stronger at a cost of about 10 million. The instantaneous extraction capacity of the steam was increased from about 650 to 950 cubic meters per hour. The average consumption of our supply is around 600 or so. We also, we also uh, installed an early warning system by putting in a, a, an automatic probe at Hobabe that allows us to monitor the flow levels and to give us warning, <coughs> especially for people that are working in the river. Um, we, which I don't add here, is that we also work on the pipeline from Lang from Swakopun to Langstrand. It was made more permanent, properly installed under the bridge, and that, that, that pipeline is also delivering about 70 kilometers per hour. And because of all of this, we can say that by the beginning of this crisis, all our reservoirs were full, which is which is a major, which is of major importance to water supply. Only collector two side, that is a topmost reservoir, to be able to regain 130 kilometers that we have lost. There. So far, we have not been able to get into the river because the pipes were broken at the section where the river is flowing the deepest. We, our next, our next target is to repair the power line on the river A side 